current form, I think I am the best. I love what I do and I want to be better. Only one thing that counts, and that's win tournaments. Michael van Gerwen is without doubt the best player in the world. Easy, isn't it? You're getting hit by a hurricane of torrid tungsten pressure. Do you know how many times I fell on the floor with my chin and I needed to stand up again because I lost? 45. A lot. I played really bad for three, four years. I didn't do what I can. Have some photo. Yeah, it's a good job. Go. Or a charity like this. There's something where you don't forget and they will never forget it. Years ago, you only could dream about things like that, and now it's reality. I used to walk in a venue, and I used to be a bit afraid, afraid to lose. Now I go walk in the game, I'm gonna beat him, simple, confident. I think I'm gonna rip his head off and uh, rip him in pieces. I'm not very photogenic, or how do you say it in England? A celebration is just a thing what I do. I like to do it, some people don't like it, but it's not my problem, is it? Does he overdo it? No, he underplays it, in my opinion. Nearly the same belly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry for titles, and you need to be hungry. If you're not hungry, you better stay at home and find a job, and maybe you can earn a living out of that. Why did he give all the cookies to me? You all want to say I'm pepper or something? <laughs>We're gonna do some, uh, uh, with a couple of you players, we're gonna play some darts. And uh, I said, uh, yeah, it's good. Probably I'm better than that, than a football because I was, even if I practice 24 hours a day, I never will be a good one. And uh, then instead of the Saturday afternoon football, I went here to play darts. Good morning, where is it? Good morning, Michael. That's good. Ah, prima, joh. Ik zie jou meer als jij mijn. <laughs> ja. Ik speel de lot of dart games on this board and I also marked a lot of games before I played seriously at darts because at that moment I wasn't old enough to play in a tournament but because you need to be 16 and uh, so I went here to just mark them and earn my money uh, before that time. It was a good time and some practice during uh, during the breaks when they were finished and yeah, it was good. Really enjoyed it at that time, but yeah, we are a step further now. A step further now, isn't it? The first place I had one eighty is at home, but first time in a in a pub or in a place or actually in a tournament is over here. I played a lot of ranking tournaments over here, and uh, it was all quite good fun. And I I still speak to the people I was playing with at that time. Thirteen, fourteen, he came here. Most of the time he was uh, riding. He you know, uh, was not allowed to play, but they gave him uh, one guild that time. He ride all evening for the for the big guys, and I was uh, now see the big guy. I remember watching him as a 14-year-old kid in Hengelo, in Holland, and I went and stood behind him, and I couldn't believe what I was watching. And I thought, what is going on here? You know, why haven't heard of this young man before? And he was hitting the treble 20 like I'd never seen before. And, uh, you know, I just stopped playing myself at the time. And I thought, yeah, I weren't a bad player on the treble 20. But, boy, this boy could hit everything. Michael, of course, was uh, a phenomenal teenager. You know, won tournaments, had nine dart finishes at 17 years old. But the style of play, 
I think is the most important thing, you know. He's emotive, he shows his emotion when he, when he plays, when he checks out or when he hits big scores. That involves the crowd and he throws at pace. Michael came over with you know a big fanfare because obviously I think he was 17 when he won the World Masters in the BDO and when he came to the PDC everybody thought he'd just blow people away and obviously it's taken him a good few years to get to that level. When he first came over um, he was a fast enthusiastic player that for me was easy to put off in them days I could slow him down take me to hot out slow just anything to annoy him and that was enough to beat him but uh, he's come through all that now in the thicker skin and uh, won the world title last year um, who's to say he can't go on and uh, emulate Taylor and, and win 16. At the moment everything goes really well and that's a really 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 good thing and uh, I'm enjoying it and I played so many games over here I can't believe it's unbelievable. Darten is nu uitgegroeid tot een wereldwijde sport. De PDC-kalender zit vol met meer dan 150 wedstrijddagen, verspreid over de hele planeet. Hier is waar mijn grandma ligt. Ik ben niet even hier voor een lange tijd. Maar wat kan ik zeggen? Ik ben te busy en ik all in de stand. Dat is hetzelfde als ik echt moet plan tijd in met mijn familie. Nearly with my wife, and uh, sometimes that's uh, uh, difficult. But it's, uh, everything has its good sides and its bad sides. Uh, I, I'm I'm happy with my life how it is now, and uh, my wife is happy, and yeah, we we do we can do a lot of great things now. Uh, because years ago I was only dreaming about um, uh, being this successful. It's my life. <laughs> I'm a horrible singer, don't worry about that. Oh. I'm not gonna do in Holland or England got talent or something, uh, whatever it is, Bridge got talent. Eh? Oh. Do you know the red button? Within two seconds. Yeah. Ching, ching, ching. Now we are, we are in the town of Lyman. I have. I've lived here for a couple of years, and my missus is from this town. My wife is from this town, mistake. <laughs> yeah, I need to uh, work on it because I forget it all the time. Het privéleven van Michael van Gerwen is het tegenovergestelde van de drukke dartswereld. They were sitting together. It was quite clever of that man when we was buying the dogs. And you're not gonna buy one and leave the other one. So I said, that one was nice as well. I said, yeah, yeah, true. I said, ah, can we take them both? I was nice for a day. Really nice. <laughs> First of August we've been married and uh, yeah, we are. Such a lovely day, fantastic one of the best days in my life, and uh, probably the best day. And seven years ago, we met uh, in a pub uh, close to Muscles Pub. We uh, yeah, they had a evening, they had a little party evening. That was the first time I saw her. Yeah. So I asked her mom for her phone number the first time, and it was a bit difficult to get there, but on the end, I did. She thought she was she get rid of me very very quick, but. She knows after me there's nothing more, is it? That was the worst thing of the day, making the pictures. Oh, I don't really like it. I'm not very photogenic, or how do you say it in England? But it was a fantastic day. It's all part of it, isn't it? Hey, still something from England, isn't it? I earn my living most of the time in England, yeah, so. It's part of my life, isn't it? Blijven trainen is heel belangrijk voor een darter. Michael geniet er niet altijd van, maar weet wat hij moet doen om aan de top te blijven. I like to play tournaments because then you really can uh, make your own game and do your thing because you can't imitate our real game. It's not only about scoring and practice. Most of the time, yeah, I practice on my doubles. 
because I think that's my weak, uh, my we sometimes that was my weakest spot, and uh, now everything goes all right and I'm doing really well. Fantastic talent, uh, very natural ability. Um, what I like about Michael is that he's always got a smile on his face when he does the walk-ons. He's he loves the walk-ons with the people. Great player. I mean, obviously, you know, he's won a world championship, so you know, he's no mug. Uh, fantastic for watch. Love playing against him. Um, great love. Van Gerwens zegentocht in het Alexandra Palace in januari leidde tot grote feesten in het hele land. I had a home welcome in town centre over here, the town hall, and afterwards we had a little party here with friends and family. I don't know exactly how many people turned up at the town hall, but it was quite a few. I couldn't count them. Uh, 2000, 2500, something like that. Phil Taylor gooide in 2002 voor het eerst in de geschiedenis een negendarter live op Britse TV. Michael heeft dat Hustaren stukje al vier keer voor elkaar gebokst. Double 12 for history, history, he's done it! There we go! It's the first live nine dart finish. People always think it's very easy to hit a nine darter, but it's not. But we start with a 180 first, yeah? Travels and one four four for the nine dart finish. It's on. Double twelve. Magnificent Michael Van Gerwen who raises the roof with a nine darter in a World Championship semi-final. First one I hit it. Uh, my nine darter. They had their uh, Super League in Holland, and the first nine darter I can remember. That was, I was, I think, 15 or 16 years old uh, and with someone else's darts. So uh, I just picked them up. There's other, uh, was a good player before in Holland as well, Jeroen Verhoeven. He's for about 20 minutes from here. And uh, I picked his uh, darts up. Was, he threw with Martin Adams darts and that was my first nine darter. And, uh, yeah, it's a bit funny, and after that, didn't t didn't take that long before I had another one. And uh, yeah, what can I say? It's, uh, but it's not about nine darts. Nine darts is just part of part of the game, and same as an uh, holding one or uh, in snooker one four seven, isn't it? It's just a part part of it. And sometimes you win a prize with it, but it's not the main the main thing. People won't remember the nine darts when you're in a couple of year time, but they will remember the winner of the tournaments. Is the sport of darts entering a new era? Bullseye! What an amazing finish! Brilliant, brilliant Taylor! Van Gerwen stands on top of the world of darts! Oh! Mighty Michael Van Gerwen! Currently, form I think I am the best, but you got to deal with a lot of very, very good players. The best player on earth all time is Phil Taylor. He can be the greatest of, of his time, his generation. Everyone compares him to Phil Taylor. Just leave Phil Taylor out on his own. He's just someone that, that's played the sport better than anyone else, better than anyone will ever play it. So let's just forget him for a minute. Michael Van Gerwen is an absolutely special, incredible talent that. I don't think we've seen the full potential of him yet. He's going to have to dominate for the next 30 odd years like Taylor's done. Can he do it? Some people think so, some people don't. At the moment I'm doing well and you always need to believe in yourself, you are the best in the world. If you don't do that, you fear someone else and I never fear someone else. I learn a lot when you're on the circuit of all, all the people and that makes you stronger and better. Always look to other people, what you can use save it in there and otherwise let it go. I can be hungry enough to win even more tournaments and uh, uh, I think that also never will stop people saying now to me, uh, yeah, you won all the big tournaments now, uh, what's your next uh, goal? So you know, just win another one. Looks like Phil, he won 16. And he's not bored of winning tournaments, is he? 
Michaels onstuitbare klim naar de top heeft ertoe geleid dat hij nu een BN'er is. Hij heeft meer en meer verplichtingen en krijgt ook de kans om iets terug te doen voor de gemeenschap. Ja, bij Michael. Ja, ik niet verwacht, hè. Nee. Mooie auto. Ja. En jou. En vanaf vandaag mogen we leven een dag. Heb een foto? Ja, dat is goed, John. Top. This guy is uh, Renzo. He uh, sent this wish to the well, Make a Wish Foundation. Ja, yeah, he just dropped off by Ferrari and now we're gonna play some darts in a minute. Okay. Lekker naar binnen gaan? Ja hoor. Ja. Een nieuw setje erbij. Hoi. Hey. Dankjewel. Yes. Yes. Dat was warming up, hè? Ja. Goed gedaan. Ja. <laughs> I like to do things like this. This is uh, good for myself, but also good for the kids. Voila! We had the chance gehad, hè? And uh, he really enjoyed it today, and yeah, that's why you do it for. This is fantastic, especially for uh, a charity, a charity like this. That's uh, yeah, something where you don't forget, and they, they will never forget it. And that's uh, that's a fantastic thing. The nine dot over there, the, the venue was buzzing. This was, it was shaking under my feet, the venue. It was amazing. Normally I never watch myself back, never ever. The venue is, you can hear the crowd, it's amazing. So after the first 180, I thought I uh, really had a good chance. Lovely, <laughs> another one. <laughs> this is what you want to do all the time. All the pressure's on, the biggest pressure you can have. And then the first dot goes in the trap 20, trap 19 after double 12. The venue exploding, look my face, it's amazing. This is uh, a good thing, a really good thing. Good memories. This place means a lot to me, of course. This venue, I won uh, the World Grand Prix, my first big major tournament. Yeah, it was an amazing thing. No one can ever take off me. That's a really important thing, I think, for the rest of my career. At that point, uh, I was also uh, living at home. I didn't have an own house. Uh, I was busy with a bank, everything like that. And a week later, I won the World Grand Prix. It made it everything so easy. And also, I climbed up the rankings, and. Yeah, that was fantastic. I won 4-5 for the match. Can he win it? It's done! Oh, yes! Yeah, it was an amazing uh, finish. To win a tournament like that, come back so, so strong and then finish it off with a 1-4-5 fin finish. Fantastic. I knew I could do this years ago, but it never come out for some reason. I don't know why, but I learned a lot last year. So when I crossed over to the, from the BDO to the PDC, it made me a real man. De eerste wedstrijd die Michael van Gerwen ooit op het PDC-WK speelde, was direct tegen de grootste speler aller tijden. Van Gerwen zorgde daarbij bijna voor een sensatie. Ik had de mogelijkheid van een klassiek. Dit Taylor Tops voor de eerste set. Redbit. En six wonderful darts. Van Gerwen back in the hunt. To go one set away from taking the power. Van Gerwen on 17. He wants double tops. Middle of the bed. Taylor is on the rope. He's got to break Van Gerwen or else he's a goner. Van Gerwen wants 81. He's hit three. Wants triple 18. For the match. Double 12 pulled. Would have put Taylor out. Double eight for a 12 daughter and the win. What a game to win in the end. Michael gelooft dat die nederlaag samen met de vele verloren partijen die nog zouden volgen hem hebben gemaakt tot de speler die hij nu is. So do you know how many times I fell on the floor with my chin and I need to stand up again because I lost a lot. But you you grow up. He went through a bit of a dull period and he was getting down on himself and of course, you know, the six inches between the years when you're at a certain standard are really what counts and it did with Michael. But then we started up the PC started up a youth tour. And he was allowed to play on this youth tour. 
and he learnt how to win. And, and in any sport, it doesn't matter where you learn how to win, you get that winning mentality. And he did on the youth tour. And of course, he come out of the youth tour, started playing the pro tour properly again, and he started winning. Confidence. Confidence is the main thing, I think, in that. The win in the pro tours and the win in also in the, in, the, in the youth tournaments helped me as well. 45. I played really bad for three, four years. I didn't do what I can. And that was really upset myself and I was frustrating and I was thinking um, why I'm still playing darts. You can be so good as you want, but you need to have a bit of luck as well, you know that. A little bit. I was really upset because I lost six pro to his first round after each other. And uh, I was coming home and I was saying, what am I doing on the stage? Yeah, what am I doing? Well, I, I, the, but the worst thing is, I knew I can play re really good. I know I was better than 80, 90% of the dark players. But it makes it even more difficult for yourself because I put so, many, so much pressure on myself. and. Uh, I have always uh, such a high uh, targets and things what I want to do and want to perform. Because also when I uh, come back after a, a match with a one or two average or something, still can do better. Never enough. Always fight for every game, every leg. Oh, nothing else better. Oh, what a goal! What a goal! I read you. <laughs> I used to walk in a venue and saw that I saw the draw, and I was thinking, I was thinking, ooh, I'm playing uh, Kevin Payne or Lewis or Wade, and now I'm thinking, I need to beat him. I'm gonna beat him, and that's the difference. Now I see the way to my game is different because now I go walk in the game. I'm gonna beat him. Simple, confident, and I used to be a bit afraid. Afraid to lose, and that's no good if you have things like that. I turn around totally. I see the draw. Ooh, I've got a tough draw. I need to play Michael. So you mentally already step forward than them. So maybe you're one nil front. I think I'm gonna rip his head off and uh, rip him in pieces. That's why I'm thinking before I game. Go, I pump myself so often. Come on and show it on stage. Sometimes work, but sometimes not. But you always need to say to yourself, I'm going to win. Now he knows nothing but winning. He, he doesn't contemplate uh, losing. Leven in het Dutch Circus wordt makkelijker gemaakt van Michael doordat hij zijn vrienden en familie bij zich heeft. We go here for lunch most of the time. We need to get through the, through the day anyway, and it's not always it's not always that easy. With, with a bit of uh, with a nice lunch and. Uh, with a couple of movies, I will get through the day. Especially when I have a good friend, it makes it sometimes a lot easier. Oh, that was funny. Oh, really funny. When you're doing well and people expect only good games now, and sometimes when you play worse for them, it's people say, oh, what's wrong with you? But I'm also a human and I also can make mistakes, isn't it? The level for yourself has changed. I used to be happy with the last 16 in Televerus tournament, and now I'm only happy with winning at tournament. Do you know what I mean? It's not that I'm not happy with uh, running up plays, but you always go for, for, for the trophy, of course, and uh, only one thing that counts, and that's win tournaments. If I don't do any stupid things, uh, I don't, I'm also going to try to retire when I'm 55. <laughs> <laughs> like Phil. <laughs> you will be around me. Oh, my granddad's friend. Why did you give all the cookies to me? You all want to say I'm fat or something? Look, these cookies. Yeah. We keep giving him No, no, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Michael van Gerwers' succes op de vloer en de grote televisietoernooien hebben hem in korte tijd veel geld opgeleverd. Hij kan zich daardoor de aanschaf van een tweede huis veroorloven. Easy, isn't it? I like my home, but I don't live here for a long time yet. When I'm home normally, I don't do much at all. Lying on the sofa there and watch television. <laughs> oh, when I'm off, I love to lie down like this all the time. But... Too busy most of the times. 
the most laziest. Oh, that one, yeah, for sure. <laughs> They're playing like machines up there. Michael Van Gerwen is without doubt, when he hits the purple patch, the best player in the world. Look at this from Phil Taylor. These two are at it. They're at each other. What a dart. What a player. Danny's double now for Van Gerwen to break. He's broken him. Wow, wow, how big a blow is that? Have you ever seen darts of this quality? Michael Van Gerwen has broken. That's a Taylor tell. He's under pressure. Ridiculous arras for Michael Van Gerwen. He's not stopping. Look at that. Get out of the way. Well, that is something I've never seen before. Riled, completely riled. Done nothing wrong. He wasn't taking his time. He's, he's annoyed the great man. Phil shakes his head in disbelief. Could this be the leg? Michael Van Gerwen is all over it. Michael Van Gerwen, the future of darts, has just become the present of darts as well. Probably played one of my best games ever over there. I played so well against uh, Scott Waits, uh, Phil Taylor, and Dean Van Stanley, I think. And I played uh, yeah, fantastic darts. Yeah, they all were in fantastic form, and I absolutely smashed them. And a sort of kind of relief comes over you, and you think, hey, I can still do it, and I can do even more. So your confidence is high, and I was in a winning flow, and then I beat Phil with a fantastic game. When he's playing well, he's got this, this strut, this swagger, and I like him sharing all that. Everything about him is just fluent, the way he collects the darts. A bit like Ronnie O'Sullivan walking around a snooker table. Even the walk is better than everyone else's. Forget the way he plays it, he looks better than anyone else. Who will be first world champion 2013? Magical, magical set winner! The power has punched! World title number 16 for Phil Taylor. I beat James Wade and Aileen Lewis in fantastic games. Afterwards, yeah, my confidence was good. Uh, I had the chances to go in front 5-2 in sets against Phil, but I didn't take them. And uh, the pressure was also so high. First time in the World Final, so I didn't know what was going on. And uh, you learn of things like that. First, you need to know how it is to lose a game before you can be a great winner. You also need to be proud of yourself, what you achieve and what you do. It's a nice, uh, nice result, result on your list, isn't it? Final of the world. I think it's horrible, the clothes. <laughs> I think it's worth It's her choice. I don't mind it. My big tigers. <laughs> <laughs> Get your head out. Oh, not so. Yes, ook. Ja, dat kan. De rivaliteit met Phil Taylor en zijn kenmerkende agressieve speelstijl hebben hem fans opgeleverd over de hele wereld. Overal waar Van Gerwen verschijnt, wordt zijn naam gescandeerd. En daarvoor is geen podium beter geschikt dan dat van de Premier League. The Premier League is Rasmussen. It's a show. What's Van Gerwen? It is a show. He's waiting to erupt. That's what he's. You're waiting for something special to happen. And let's be honest, it happens a lot. Got a nice bit of walk-on music. The crowd sense that he loves the game. He gets on the stage, gets the fist pumps going, gets the crowd behind him. Did really well in the Premier League. And uh, I said to Barry Hearn, I said, uh, I'm directly qualified now for the Premier League. So if I ever need a wild card, I, I want to keep him for then. <laughs> Just a bit of fun. And uh, he was laughing about it. It's, it's, it's a good thing, isn't it? It's, uh, I always think it's... I really deserved it on my own performance, and that's a good thing I, in darts. Uh, you didn't get any freebies or anything, you just deserved everything what I did by myself. You're there to entertain and be part of the, uh, the setup, and that's what it is. You've got the big crowds, um, you've got 8,000 people in there having a couple of pints. They're not going to be sitting there reading a book, are they? I like the format because you play week after week, so even you had a bad week, you, d you don't have time to think about a loss because next week is another game on, 
uh, on the calendar. And it's when you're so busy, you can't really uh, uh, think about mistakes because you only think about the good things. He's going to get a dart. A double top. A bad girl. After the 14 weeks, I was number one in the rankings, and then it's also nice I won on the final day because, yeah, normally it doesn't say anything. You can be number one or four, yeah, but on the final day you need to show your class. And I did exactly everything right in in, in the Premier League. I did well on the right times. Also, I was down against Phil Taylor big time, but I fought it back. And I always say never give up till, till the last dart. It's thrown. Now, net treble 19 for the bullseye! For an amazing finish! What an amazing finish! To an amazing game! And Van Gerwen is the McCoy's Premier League champion! I think I'm quite positive. You need to be positive in life. If you're too negative, you're not going to make it. I love what I do and I want to be better, I want to play even better what I do now. If you don't like the game, you never will be number one of the world. My three little brothers here. <laughs> they say if you buy them yourself, you don't bring any luck. But I'm quite lucky last two years, isn't it? <laughs> Nearly the same belly. <laughs> I don't know an over-the-top celebration. I think when you're happy, you should express yourself. And if it upsets a few people, tough. Celebrates a bit too much. You know, it gets in your face and that. Some people don't mind it. Other players get a bit cheesed off. But... I know certain players most probably don't like it. It gets under their skin. I always say to Michael, keep doing it. A celebration is just the thing what I do. And uh, it's not my problem, is it? I just do what I'm good in and I just do what suits me, not what suits someone else. This is what a television wants, you know, they want the big celebrations. I'm kind of old school, you know, you hit a 180, it's a 180, we're there supposed to hit it. At the end of the day, he gives it his all, and, um, you know, if he hits a good shot out, why not celebrate? We are there to win the tournament, and everyone does his own way. Uh, some people play fast, some people play slow, some people want to play slow and put you off, and, yeah, if all things are there, you need to... Uh, handle that and I don't know if it's only the celebrations and things like that. I don't know. If your numbers come up on the lottery and, and you win 58 million, are you going to give it a marvellous day, that? that? That really is. What, what, what a Tuesday that was. The thing is, Michael lets the, the, the punters, he lets the paying public know, he lets the viewers know at home and he lets his opponent know that, do you know what, I've just done something really good there and I'm, I'm going to show you all. That means the world to me. And that's what makes him so likeable. That's what makes him so liked. I think the crowd expect it, and I think we'd be less of a sport without it. People say I'm a char character, but I'm just Michael, and I want to do a thing where I'm good in, and that's playing darts. Dat enthousiasme heeft ertoe geleid dat het darts publiek hem in het hart heeft gesloten, net als andersom het geval is. They run out of the car. I can drive just through. When he asked me, can I have a picture with you, and I say yes, he was uh, like, yes, come on. It's strange, isn't it? To be in that position is yeah, it's, uh, it's a fantastic thing. Years ago, you only could dream about things like that, and now it's reality. I'm hungry for titles, and you need to be hungry. If you're not hungry, you better stay at home and find a job, and maybe you can earn a living out of that. You need to have the passion. You need to give it, and if you don't do that, it's going to be really difficult. If you don't have fun in the game or anything like that and you only see it as a living, it's not going to work. Michael Van Gerwen stands on top of the world of darts. Michael Van Gerwen, world champion. The pressure of being a world champion comes up, especially when you're in the final and the trophy is five meters from you. And I was 4-0 in front. My heart was going like that, and I was really, really nervous. But that's all them things you learn of things like that. And next time, if I'm in that situation, it wouldn't, it wouldn't really bother me. But that was all new for me. New to be the favourite in the final, 